G'day everyone, Patrick, the Catasol Vlog Bloke here again. Um, today I'm going to show you how I make a bit of a lunch, which I know will be extraordinarily interesting for you all, but um, the challenge I have with um, making any meals is um, after my stroke in June last year, I was left with uh, a deficit in my left arm, particularly my left hand. Um, my left hand um, has been weakened since that stroke and uh, there's some numbness in the fingertips which worsened after my recent stroke a week ago um, and gripping things um, is extremely difficult. So I'll start by going to the fridge. It's um, an unremarkable fridge, as you can see. Um, now I'm going to open it with my left hand. And got some meat in here. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll grab the, uh, oh, you might be able to see here too that my left hand becomes ataxic at times. That's the tremor. So let's leave that there. Try this approach. As you can see, that's awkward. It's hard to hold and my hand wants to go down. But here we go. Let's start. Now to get a plate. Again, I will open it with my left hand. Because I need to keep using that left hand as much as possible, as much as I don't want to. And we'll grab that plate because it's the lightest. And um, the cat's also having lunch at the moment. That's Sir Lancelot. Okay, now here I am going to torture myself by getting myself a tea bag. I'm using on my left hand to remove the lid. As you can see, it's not a particularly fast procedure, but I get there eventually. Okay. And I'm going to use my right hand to get a tea bag because it's really awkward if I do it with my left. But I'll replace the lid using my left hand. And this is more awkward than it is to remove the lid. So I'll just kind of push it around like that. Now to get some rolls, which my lovely wife pre-cut for me this morning. So again, lifting with my left hand, it's not particularly heavy, obviously. remove those. Okay, the cat just jumped up onto the bench. Hopefully you won't knock the camera down. Watch you my mic bleed. Now, I'll grab two. And 
close the bag again. And now over to the food preparation area. And away we go. First thing, I'll get the jug boiling. And I know I've got a tea bag here somewhere. Mm. Okay, here we go, let's go. Now, get a knife. Start by putting a little my drain on. I don't always put my drain on, I just want to show you how it goes. I'm holding that with my right hand. And then pull it with the left. Now I swing over to holding that with my left hand. Because I'm trying to get the migraine out with my left hand, is uh, near on impossible. Oh, it takes so long that I fall asleep, not with it, but um, so supporting the bun awkwardly with my left hand. It's more of a kind of um, barrier here to stop it moving across rather than holding it as such, single time. And there's a bit of an edge on this plate, as you can see here. We bought these years ago. Um, not the uh, intent of using it for this purpose. But it works well for this purpose. I also have a, a breadboard with raised edges on two corners, on one corner. Um, but those raised edges aren't really high and don't really work for spreading stuff on a bun. So, just pour the water in the cup so the tea can steep. Now, to slice some tomato. And slicing tomatoes is one of the more challenging bits of preparing a sandwich or a roll. Okay, so again, I'm going to rest it up against that lip of the plate and use a sharp knife to cut some slices. See how I, I can't hold my left finger out properly to keep this supported, so I've got it between my middle finger and my thumb and the index finger is kind of come back and just resting on it. So one two three Wrap that up again. Now I like a little pepper. 
and by that I don't mean pepper in a little container. This just happens to be pepper in a little container. So the way I opened that was actually holding the top with my left hand but spinning the bottom with my right hand. See, I told you I like a little pepper. And a bit of sea salt. Not promoting, there are other brands available. Uh, again, I'm just going to hold the bottom bit or the top bit, depending which way you're holding it, and twist. Okay, that really was a little bit of salt. Got to go easy on the salt when you have a cerebral small vessel disease. Um, next, this is the first hand. Again, I'm going to pull the roast ham out with my right hand, it's just not that easy to do left handed. So, rare roast beef. It's not that the beef itself is rare. Just prepared rare, but I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Okay, that's one. Wrap up using my ataxic left hand. Not exclusively. Why well, make it completely difficult? And now for some solid mix. Lots of baby spinach in this solid mix. Uncooperative baby spinach oil. And finally, some Finally, some three threes, sweet mustard pickles. I think this is an Australian brand. Other brands are available. Okay, twist the lid off with the left hand. Hold in the left hand. Oh God, wish you could smell this. And after that, I'm going to have to add pickles to the shopping list. Right, fold that over. Very awkward. Oh, look at that, just like a professional in the shops. And that's done. I won't put you through the uh, torture of me making a second one but let's get this stuff back to the fridge so here we 
could be gambling on. Oops. The mic came off the court. I want to pull the camera down. And when I walk, um, I have some weakness as well on the stroke in that leg, left leg. And whenever I take a step, my left foot gets stiff. Right, I'll just grab some milk for my tea. And walk backwards, not to show you, not showing off here. Um, it's just sometimes easier in the kitchen to do that. Okay, milk poured. Grab the roast beef as well. Back to the kitchen again. Don't trip over my mic cord. And there you have it. Ta da! Peace and love to all. I'll um, catch you all next time.